hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm making a sweater for a two year old i'm going to cast on 50 by 50 needles so i'm pulling out needles one by one and i'm going to use various colors so i'm going to start off with black okay so let's cast on Casting on with the Iraq method. That's it. Then I put the yarn in the carriage and uh, I'm going to use tension 3 for the Arabia. And make sure when you're starting, your counter is always at zero. I'm going to make a rib of 30 here. Yeah? Okay, so I'm done with the 30 rows. Next, we are joining, we are joining our rib. So you pick the first row up here and join it to the empty needles that are in non working position. Pick the first row of your rib. Make sure you don't pick a lot because it will make it hard for the machine to knit and join here. Yeah? So Take the first row of the rib and uh, put it on the empty needles and place it on the empty needles. All the way to the end of your work. So I'm finishing up with joining the rib. That's it. Then I need one row. And our rib is joined, yeah. So, I'm going to set our counter back to zero to start on the body. We are starting with the back of the sweater, yeah. I'm going to change my tension to tension five for the body of the sweater, yeah. And I'm still going to use black. I need 20 rows of black. This is I'm going to start. I'm going to knit two and I increase five times, yeah. So I'm increasing by just pulling out one needle to the working position so that it knits. This is a very simple increase. And I need two. That's two. This is my third increase. Five times. So I'm done with the five increases. And that brings me to two. I have 12 on the row counter, but I'm knitting 20 rows of black here. Yeah? So let me finish up. I need more 8 rows to make it 20 rows of the black. Alright, so I have 20 rows of black now. And we are going to change color. And we are going to knit only 10 rows of white here. Yeah? So play knitting 10 rows of white. Okay, so that's 10 rows of the white. I'll bring back the black to do 10 rows of the black. That's 10 rows of the black. Next, we are going to do 20 rows of red. So, we're done with the 20 rows of red. Now, we are getting back to black. I will be doing 20 rows of black. That's 20 rows of black. Next I'm doing 10 rows of white. So that's 10 rows of white. Next we are doing 10 rows of black again. Next we are doing 20 rows of red. So we're done with the 20 rows of red and now we are at the point where we are going to cast off for the armhole, yeah? So in total we have knit 120 rows. We knit a rib of 30 and then from the 30 rows of the rib we knit 120 rows all the way up. So this for me is 
this is 10 inches yeah from the rib all the way to up here it's 10 inches so if you make your 120 rows and yours is not long enough then you can add it on to make 20 inches yeah okay so i'm going to cast off on both sides um casting off five needles I do have a video showing how to cast off using the transfer tool. This is what we call the transfer tool. So if you don't know how to do this, please do check out that video. I'm going to attach its link in the description box. Okay, so those are five needles off. And then we need one row to the other side. And cast off five needles on this side as well. And that's it here yeah? so we are going to knit 60 rows upwards but still I'm going to be interchanging these colors the same way I've been interchanging them yeah so I'm done with 20 rows of the red now I'm going to attach black and do 20 rows of the black but in total I'm going to do 60 rows yeah that's 20 rows of the black Next, we're doing 10 rows of white. Next, we're doing 10 rows of the black. That's 10 rows of the black. Next, we're doing 20 rows of the red. And then we'll be done with our 60 rows. that's it that's the 20 rows of the red which leads us to the 60 rows after casting off here for the armhole so that's the back of our sweater it's done so i'm going to need two rows in tension 10 to cast off here yeah? and before i cast off um the total length of the sweater is uh, the total length is 16 inches yeah so we did 10 inches first then we cast off oh you guys are not seeing okay but the total length is 16 inches down here yeah and this is the back of our sweater i believe you guys love it it looks it looks cute already next i'm going to show you guys how to make the front we're going to make two parts of the front and then we'll make the sleeves so for the front we are going to be doing half of the back as our front yeah so we cast on 50 50 for the back for the front we're going to cast on 25 25 yeah so i'm putting out 25 needles this side and 25 needles on this side as well putting out needles one by one like we did um on our first now we are almost following the same instructions yeah so i'm still going to cast on with the Arab method and then i'm going to make the rib we made a rib of 30 for our first for the back right yeah so i'm still going to make a rib of 30. and we are using the, the same tension so we use tension three for the rib i'm still using the same tension you have to make sure when you're starting the row counter is at zero then we join the rib remember we pick our first stitches up here and join them to the empty needles that's our rib now we are going to make increases on one side 
Remember for the back we made increases on both sides but this is one part of the front. So we have to make increases on one part because the other part will remain open. Yeah. So I'm going to make increases on this side. Let's put my row counter back to zero. Remember for the body we are using tension five. Zero. Pull out one, need two. Increase. Remember we are pulling out five needles. So that is it for the increases. And then now I'm going to knit the same rows. Remember, I showed you guys I knitted 120 rows of the back before I cast off for the armhole. Yeah. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to knit those same 120 rows before I cast off for the armhole. And I'm using the same color changes that we were using before. Yeah. So we started off with 20 rows of black. I have 10 so far. So let me finish off with those 20 rows of black. After the 20 rows of black, we are doing 10 rows of white. After the 10 rows of white is 10 rows of black. Next, 20 rows of red. Next, 20 rows of black. Next is 10 rows of white. Next is 10 rows of black. And then lastly, it's supposed to be 20 rows of red. So we have 120 on our row counter and this is when we have to cast off for the armhole. Now remember we increased on this side. So we are still going to cast off on this side. So we are casting off on one side and uh, we are casting off five needles like we did for that back. So I'm just going to move my row counter to this side with one row to cast off on this side. Okay, so I've cast off five. And now I'm going to change color. So now we are starting on the 60 rows. Yeah, you can even turn your counter back to zero. And now, yeah, but then we also have to shape the neck. So I'm going to shape my neck when I have 20 rows left. Yeah. So that means I'm going to first knit the 40 rows and then I'll shape my neck for the remaining 20 rows. So for our 40 rows, we are doing first 20 rows of black. Next, we are making 10 rows of white. Next, 10 rows of black. So that's the 40 rows. And now we have to shape our neck. So if I cast off for the armhole on this side, then I'm shaping the neck on the opposite side. Yeah. Don't forget that. So for starters, we are changing our color to red. And I'm going to be knitting two and I reduce one, yeah? So one, two, and then I transfer a needle from this side to the next side. I'm shaping the neck. And I knit one, two, transfer again, one, two, transfer. I'm doing this until I'm done with the, with the 20 rows remaining to 60, yeah? I'm at 50 but I'm going to change my color to black because since I'm going to make my neck in black I want black to be closest to the neck I'm at 60 I'm done with that and now I'm going to just make two rows for casting off intention 10 so we cast off and now guys for the next part for the other front part, I'm going to just do the opposite of what I've done with this one. So on the side that I've on the side that we increased on this one, now we are going to increase on the opposite side for the other one. And then the side where we made the neck shaping, we'll make it on the opposite side. The side where we cast off for the armhole, now we'll have to do on the opposite side, yeah. But still 
I'm going to take you guys through. So I'm done casting off. So this is what we've made. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. This is our armhole cast off. And then our neck shaping, yeah? Just a little bit of the neck shaping. Okay, so next, let's start on the other piece. We are still casting on the same needles, which is 25 by 25. And casting on with the Iraq method and then doing 30 rows of the rib in tension 3. Yeah, let me do that chap chap. <laughs> Um, so guys, I'm done with the rib and remember for the first part we increased on this side Now we are going to increase on the opposite side. Yeah, so increased on the left for the first part. Now I'm increasing on the right I need two and increase Now I'm done with the increase and I'm going to now knit the same way I knitted the other part until I reach two the 120 rows we are going to cast off for the armhole, yeah? So let me knit up to 120 rows and then show you guys what next. With Still, I'm going to interchange my colors while I do it. Don't forget to change your tension to tension 5 for the body of the sweater. So guys, I'm done with the 120 rows. Um, so now, it's time for the armhole cast off. And remember I said the side on which you added the 5 where you made the increases is where you cast off still, yeah? So I'm casting off five needles on this side. This one. Two. Three. Two. Then we are going to knit the upper part, which is 60 rows after this. But remember, we are shaping the neck at 40 rows, yeah? So let's first knit the 40 rows, still following our design. Now I'm at 40, I have 20 rows remaining. But then again, remember I said if you cast off for the armhole from this side, then you do your neck on the opposite side. And also remember on the other piece, we were shaping the neck from this side, from the right. Now we are going to shape our neck from the left. Okay, so I'm going to knit two and I reduce two. Then I transfer one needle to the next. and transfer to the next then need to pick and transfer to the next need to you can transfer to the next need to and I'm doing this for all the remaining 20 rows. Alright, so that's 60 rows for me. Now I'm knitting only 2 rows in tension 10 for casting off. And that's it. And then I cast off. And then next, I'm going to show you guys how to knit the arms of the sweater. So anyway, this is the second part of our sweater. This is where I shaped the neck a bit. And then this is the other part. For the sleeves, we are going to cast on 30 by 30 needles. And then we are going to, of course, make the same rib that we have been making. So I'm pulling out needles one by one. Remember, we're making our rib with tension 3, starting our count at 0. So I'm still making a rib of 30. Let's set our counter back to zero. And for the body still we are going to use tension five to knit our sleeve. Now I'm going to be knitting six and I increase six rows and I increase. I'm going to increase every six rows, yes. And in total we are going to knit 130 rows 
of the sleeve and I'm going to use the same color black for the sleeve I'm going to change the color so we need six rows that's six and then I increase on both sides so I'm just going to do the simple increase of just pulling out needles on either side just pull out the next needle on either side one extra needle on either side then we need six again one, two, three, four, five, six. you increase need six after six increase need six again so increase after six so I'm going to do that for 130 rows so I'm going to get back to you guys when I'm done with the 130 rows And that's it, 130 rows. And now I'm going to make two rows in tension 10 and then I cast off. And then we have to make two sleeves, remember? And then the sleeves have to be similar. So the exact same thing I've done for this sleeve is the exact same thing you do for the second sleeve here. Yeah? Uh, so if you're following with me and working with me, you just have to make a second sleeve. And then I'm going to show you guys how to make the neck. Um, and then pressing off. So this is what the sleeve looks like. You can see how the increase is coming. See the start and then it keeps on increasing, increasing. It keeps getting wider just like our arm is. Yeah. So make two pieces of this. Yeah, so guys, remember on one part of the front opening, we have to put the buttons band. And then on this other part, we have to put the um, the button hole band, yeah? The one for the button holes and then one for the buttons. And I already have a video showing you guys how to make the button holes and the buttons band. So I'm going to attach its link in the description box. Please check out that video on how to attach the buttons band and the button holes and then you can come back and watch how I put the neck I finished working on the buttons band this is the buttons band and then this other one is on the other side is the button holes band yeah you can see the button holes um, so yes please do check out that video of mine showing you how to make both bands and then next we are going to make the neck so I'm going to take off just something like 20 needles for the shoulder and then the rest will all be neck <coughs> I'm at the back yeah so I'm just putting it here to see like 20 needles end like here and then that's where I'll consider to be the start of our neck Let me, uh, and then I'll measure the same distance on this side, same distance for this shoulder. I'm going to bring the last edge, measure off that around there, and then that is what I'll put on here. Let me do 25 needles, and it's like here. Yeah, so I'm going to leave out 25 needles for the neck. I should pull here leave this out here so I'm going to measure off the same distance on this part which has the buttons band so I'll just bring it up here so that I consider this same distance that I've considered here which is up to like here and then the remaining part which is this to the band is what I'm going to fix on to be part of our neck here so fix on that same needle so that the two pieces come together and then all the rest I'll place back on the machine yeah and then you have to make sure that it's the wrong side facing you the wrong side of your work is what is facing you to do it right so something on this other band from the start of the band let me measure off this part for a shoulder around there so 
the remaining part is what I'm going to fix on and then to the end of the button band yeah and that's it so that's our neck part now all we have to do is fix this onto all the needles yeah we fix our work back onto all the needles part make sure when you're at the rib part you really make sure that you pick a small part of the rib because remember the rib has two sides the front and the back make sure you pick both but a small part okay that's done and then next i'm starting with tension 10 so that is the first row is easy for me to knit it's never easy so our first row is done and then i'm going to put our tension in five we're using the same tension we use for the body and then i want to create a design and i'm creating the three by one design so that means i'm skipping three needles leaving them with work and the fourth I remove work and transfer it to the next needle. Count three, one, two, three. Pick the next, transfer the work to the next needle. Make sure these are left out of working position. The ones you pick work from, yeah? So skip three, go to the fourth, transfer work to the next needle. And that's it. And then I'm going to make sure your row counter is at zero, of course. And then I'm going to knit 70 rows of the rib. Then next we just have to join our neck. So you go to the first row of the neck that you knitted and join back up to the needles. Just find your first row. Here I'm just trying to put the middle parts back first so that my work balances and then we are also going to be bringing back the empty needles to work and that's it so i'm going to need two rows intention 10 to join the rib and also cast off So this is our neck joint. It's really nice, really beautiful. You guys can see that, yeah. So that's our neck. Um, this is our complete sweater with its neck, yeah. So next, putting on the buttons, joining the buns, and then also joining the arms. And I do have a video showing you guys how to join your work using the blind stitch method and then I also have another one showing you how to join using the machine here. The arms will also be joined here. But you can check either of those videos and use one. Either one that shows you how to join with the machine or to join with the invisible stitch or if you have a sewing machine you can use it.